Hey there, YouTubers. Guess who's back? IRS dude and... School's in 5-7. Man, it's yeah, been a long time, IRS so. dude. I know. Uh, it's funny, YouTube friends and diecast friends. We've been on the uh, Corona vacay, as we call it, for a long time. But we've been just kind of doing other stuff. We haven't really done any videos, even though we have wanted we've to, right? We've been busy with work. We've been busy with work. We're still doing school. And, uh, right, IRS dude is doing uh, his home schooling for his school district, and I teach for that school district, so I'm doing my online stuff. But uh, anyway, we have found lots of extra time also to develop and make some what, IRS dude? Customs. Some customs, some custom die cast. So that's what we're gonna talk about today. We have uh, a whole bunch of our favorite Hot Wheels, mostly Hot Wheels, uh, die cast customs that we've made, right, IRS dude? Yep. Yep. So we're gonna share with you some of our favorites. Um, that's gonna be segment one, right? Okay. And then segment two, where we're gonna show our uh, YouTube friends out there in Diecast Land too. Um, segment two, we are going to show. <laughs> that's okay. That's all right. Hey man, we're just hanging out. Segment two, remember, we're gonna show the tools and some of the paints and stuff that we use, yes. right? So this isn't gonna be a how-to, right? We're not gonna do a how-to today. But we are going to show you guys some of the different stuff that we just like to use, that we found out that kind of works, because we've been only doing this for a couple of months, right, IRS dude? Mm -hmm. Yeah, okay. So uh, not a how-to, but you might get some ideas and some different um, quality stuff that we like to use uh, when we do custom. So stay tuned. IRS dude and dear old dad are going to take a look at some really cool stuff. Um, and, ooh, I think we want to give a shout out real quick too, though, didn't we, IRS dude? Okay, you guys know we love square body trucks like crazy. So uh, shout out to the Square Body Syndicate, right? Got some awesome hats from them about a month or so ago, and uh, they hooked up IRS dude with a really cool hat. So we appreciate them, and uh, we love our Square Body. So we're, of course, gonna be showing you some Square Body trucks that we did as some of our first customs. All right, so IRS dude, we want them to stay tuned. You know what we gotta do on to segment number two. You ready for it? On three. Ready? We're gonna stay old school, same thing, right? Okay, one. You remember still? Two, three, boom! boom! So we're gonna go ahead and get started. We're gonna go and look over some of the cars that we've done recently. Uh, this video might go kind of longish, so uh, kind of bear with us. But uh, if you're like us, some of you probably have some time out there, right, IRS dude? Yeah, you probably do. <laughs> it's true. Okay, so the first one that we, actually this is the most recent one that, um, that I did. Uh, this is the uh, Greenlight Caprice. I think this was from uh, Ad Cars from that release. And uh, this one, I kind of did in the lowrider style. And I really played around for the first time of masking. I don't know if you can see it on the camera, but masking and doing some candy and some different shade effects. So I laid down a silver metallic base on this. And then on the silver metallic base, I, uh, I did some striping, some masking off. And actually it turned out pretty killer. Except for the fact that when I was working with the hood, um, I left some adhesive. This is my very first one. So I left some, some adhesive stayed on there and I kind of messed with it. So hence the uh, the skull. I have a lot of JDM and Silverado uh, water slide decals. I didn't have anything that really worked with this, but I was going to finish it no matter what the other day. So your dear old dad decided just, you know what, we're going to put a skull on it and we're going to make it work. Right, Iris, dude? Kind of looks like yeah. he's popping out the hood a little bit. Pretty cool. Plus, Paint, it yeah. has the red in it. It's got the red in it, yeah. So, you know what? It's kind of wacky. It wasn't what I planned. I wanted more of a clean look. But anyway, um, didn't go too crazy on the details on this one. Didn't really want to mess with the grill on that one too much. You know, just did the license plate, little stuff like that. Really my first time customizing a green light, um, which is, you know, also the same as I think uh, the Auto World um, brand. So, anywho, it does roll. It is slammed. Uh, we're using our LODC custom wheels. Uh, my buddy, Angel Rod Art, he uh, distributes those. So whenever I get a chance to use those, uh, I like to use those. And those just look perfect in a small size, like a slam lowrider. So that one's pretty cool. I like that one. And of course, I painted the inside um, kind of a white pearl. Okay, cool. IRS dude, which one do you want to show next? Let's put it right up here and then take a look at. The next one we are going to look at is right the there. GMC Cyclone. That okay, cool. Uh, these trucks are super rad because back in the day, these are a uh, a V6, but a crazy turbocharged V6, all-wheel drive. These things back in the day could beat a Ferrari. Isn't that crazy? 
right? So when your dad was going to high school, these were the trucks that we looked up to that we wanted to see if we could uh, just even see. I remember, I remember seeing a couple in the town where I grew up. Okay, pretty cool. Okay, tell everybody what we did to this one, Iris, dude. This one's pretty basic, um, right? What did your dad do yeah. to this one? So first, the wheels, I think they actually came off of another Hot Wheel. Yeah, I can't remember which one, but yes. Yeah. Um, we also... Um, oh, I think I remember which one. Is it the hard body truck? Is it the new Nissan hard body truck, the slam one? It might be. Yeah, I think it is. It might be. Okay, anyway, keep going. Sorry, buddy. Okay, what do we do? Um, uh, yeah, we don't have it in here, unfortunately. Yeah. What do we do to the rear rear, Iris, dude? Let's show. What, 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 would not, what do we notice about that Hot Wheels, unfortunately, did with the rear? They didn't do that good of a job for the back, like, decals. Yeah, the, the tampos in the back yeah. were really misplaced. So um, we tried to erase them as best as we could and then repainted them. I don't know if you can really see that on there, but yeah. And whenever I paint, um, I use a translucent paint from Tamiya, we'll show you. I always put a silver in the back first, let that dry, and then so the translucent paint kind of shows up. Okay, what else, Iris, dude? Um, Actually, we need to drop this just a little lower, Iris, dude. Okay, your dad's got That's fine. We're going to keep We're gonna keep rolling. We got this. Okay, cool. Go ahead. Um... So we did the exhaust right there. Yeah, hold it a little bit lower. There you go, buddy. Yeah. And then we also got the front. Oh, yeah, front detail on that one, right? Yeah. We got um, fog lights and then radio lights right there. And then I even tried to get the GMC. Yeah. The GMC logo wasn't painted. Your dad did his best. Man, I had to use my cheater readers, my little glasses, to really get in there and try to go over the GMC stamping. And it turned out pretty... <laughs> It turned out pretty good, right? We're pretty happy with that one. I can't even imagine. I, I know, it was a little crazy. Her dad's getting old, so. Okay, cool. All right, and she does roll a little bit. Let's put it right here and let's see. Can you see yeah. it? Does it roll? It does we, roll. We did not leave it stock high. No, not stock high. We slammed as much as we could. Uh, in fact, I had to use a Dremel and I actually went through just a touch over here and had to use some uh, bonding putty, bondo putty just a little bit. And um, yeah, she's not winning any races, but she's still a roller. All right, want to put that one to the side, IRS dude? Okay, cool. Sweet, 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 sweet. Let's see. What do we want to do next? Oh, dad's side. Okay. You guys already know if you fo uh, follow us on Instagram that we like to do... Square bodies. Square body Chevys, right? So this one, actually, this is the most recent square body, I think, that I did IRS, dude. So this one, um, we order a lot of wheels also. Um, besides from our friend Angel, I order from, um, from Panda Diecast. And I really like those premium wheels. So I use these premium wheels uh, quite a bit also when I get a chance. This one uh, was a metal base. And I did paint the metal base. So I kind of, you know, I kind of go for realism. You know, not too whimsical and stuff. I go for realism as much as I can. And uh, just a little bit of detail on the bottom. Uh, this was with, with a, uh, a chrome pen, paint, paint marker. Of course, we drill and tapped. And then the cool thing about the Silverados is you really don't have to mess with the right height, you know? They really have yeah. a great stance already. This, of course, is a casting by June Amai. Uh, we're big fans and we follow June um, and his Kaido House garage work, which is really cool. Hoping he does a Silverado sometime in the future. I think that could, I think that could happen. Um, IRS, do let's see. Your dad painted the interior a little bit, right? Yep. Yeah, painted the interior a little bit, if you really see that, the side bolsters and the seats, mm -hmm. right? Oh, what do we use on the front on this one? Because um, I don't always do this. What do we, we use, use here? Some Chevy um, water slide decals, right? For the grill and front lights, so that turned out pretty yeah. good. And I'm going to show our friends real quick what we use. So um, when you do lay down those water slide decals, this is something that I've learned to use also for them to really take shape. And you have to use this stuff carefully. Um, we do use this microsole, and what this does is this loosens up. Um, not so much as loosens up, but it softens. It softens the actual decal, so it kind of almost sucks in. Um, once you get it placed, you use this, you coat it over a couple times, let it dry for about five minutes each time, and it really takes the shape of the, uh, whatever you're putting on the grill. So, that's cool. And then, uh, you know, we just kind of went for the stock look with the, the slide decals on the side. All right, cool. Yeah, I'm pretty happy with this one, Iris, dude. Yeah, it's okay. pretty cool. Thanks, buddy. Okay, what do you have on that side? Um, next we are going to show another square body. Yeah, I honestly I love this one. This one I think it was a little bit 
um older that we did so. yeah i did this one a couple months ago i think yeah what do you like about this one iris dude i know what i like um i really like how um you did like the side decals and then the same color for the hood yeah and it just it just matches the color that you did on it yeah i i really like this one a lot i think yeah. i used this color was an orange that we got as actually a nissan color and uh and the wheels just look good too with it yeah i think i ordered these these tampos from sc redlines sc redlines you can find them on ebay um pretty cool dude he's got some pretty cool um uh water slide decals out there so i like these they kind of have a little bit of metallic shimmer to them and then i use the uh the j rotor wheels i think i got these from panda diecast also and they have a little bit of an orange to it so i thought they were kind of cool right yeah. iris dude yeah um uh, let's see on the front on this one... We did not do the water slide decal on No, this. we didn't, but your dad did paint. So I did try and paint yeah. carefully, black out the grill, um, paint silver for the headlights. And again, I used this amber, translucent amber Tamiya paint that really looked kind of... To, to me, it looks realistic instead of being a flat color. So that translucent really makes it look cool. And then um, I was using black screw still at this time, but tapped on the bottom... Right, tap and, and uh, screwed on the bottom. Mm -hmm. And this one was this. This is a plastic casting. Yeah, or not plastic casting. Sorry, this is a metal uh, plastic base, metal casting. Yeah, nothing too crazy on this one. I don't even think I did anything on the interior. Oh, yeah, the only thing I did in the interior, son, was I painted the dashboard. Yeah. The same color as the the car. And that one's a really good roller. That one actually would be a good downhill runner. That one came out slick, dude. Right. Yeah, and it, it really just rolls good. Yeah, I know. Yeah, I really love this one a lot. And then tampos in the back, tail lights. try to edge them with some silver. Okay, cool. We'll put that on your side, little buddy. All right, what do you want to do next? Oh, it's rolling so good, it's going off. <laughs> okay, all right, Sparky. What's next? You pick. Should we keep going Chevys? Chevy trucks? Next? Yeah, let's do another Chevy. Okay. We're going to pull that one out? Okay, yep. go for it. Actually, I think this one's yours. I think I did. Should I do that one? Okay, yeah, then I want you. I'll put mine, this one over here for now. Pull that one out of the garage. That one is pretty. Pull the one out of the garage. Let's do that. Let's have you do that one. Because, Iris, dude, what did your dad. Let's put it right here, kind of in front of Seika. Can you see it? Yep. What did your dad try to do with this one? Um, we tried to make it look like a square body um, truck. Oh, in fact, here. You talk to our friend and tell us where I'll get the chase down. Um, so. We made it look like a car. They did do the chase. Well, we try to make it look car. right. Yeah. Exactly. So we try to make it look like Square Body Syndicate's SSO2, right? Yep. Yep. Exactly. Okay. It did turn out pretty good and kind of looks like it. Yeah. Um, let's see. I think these decals, I got them off my friend Angel Rodart, but I think these were from Netso's Customs. So I think these are Netso's decals, and these look. He does a really good job. In fact, I have quite a few decals that I've started getting from Netso, and. Uh, I'll try and put some of these um, links and stuff up or write down some of the information maybe on our um, comments. Um, anyway, so yeah, Iris dude, this is the M2 version, right? Iris dude, are you with me? Yeah. Here's the M2 version, right, that we have, okay? Yeah, and, the Chase uh, had the black wheels. Right, it did have the black wheels. It, it looks really cool pretty with slick. the black in my opinion. Yeah, so that one's pretty special. We'll set that back to the side. Um, so this was our take on it, right? Yep. So the SSO2 is actually an Indianapolis pace truck from back in the day in the 70s, which is really, really slick. So this one, we used the, um, the wheels again from Panda Bear Diecast, yep. which were pretty slick. Okay. Your dad used the tampos and it came out really well. This one, actually, I just used a Rust-Oleum white. Okay. No crazy paint on this one. And um, I did clear it. So I did to put the decals yeah. on and then I did clear it. And we'll show you what clear I used later. Okay. We did actually do the water slide decals for this one. Yeah, right. Yeah. Right. Okay, cool. And we did this water slide decal for the uh, the grill in the front with the microsol also, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, cool. Awesome. Yeah, I really like this one a lot. And we really like the square body syndicate stuff. So props out to them. Hope we did the uh, SSO2 some justice. All right, cool. I want to put that on your side. Put it back in the garage. Oh, let's put it to the side. Oh, also. Oh, yeah, go for in it. In the truck bed, we did... The square body syndicate symbol right there. Well, that's, yeah, that's actually the Indianapolis 500 symbol. Can you see it? Let's oh. see, I think your finger's blocked. Yeah, it's a little bit lower. Yeah, right there. Yeah, your dad was just playing around. 
So I put the symbols. So the pace truck, Iris, dude, the pace truck that was at Indianapolis 500, Indianapolis 500 um, had those Indy decals on it. Oh, yeah, you're right. That's yeah, so I just, did some extra, I did some extras for fun. Okay, cool. All right, cool. Let's set that to the side. Um, oh, what's next? Am I doing the gold one? Yep. Okay. All right, friends, don't worry. We're not all just doing trucks. But if you love trucks, and hey, lucky for you, we're just we're doing a lot of trucks. This one I did a couple, maybe a month or so ago. Um, this actually is done in a Nissan gold color because I really like to do my Nissan stuff. And that's how the IRS dude and I, that's how we get our colors. We see cars out in public or cars um, from when I was younger. And then we actually go to the automotive paint store local to us and we order up some cans. We'll tell you how we do that later in, in uh, segment two. But anyway, um, this one whoop, ah, was a metal base truck. Okay, stripped it down, did all the good primer and all that good stuff to it. We used some more Panda's diecast wheels. This one, I was pretty minimal higher huh, dude, on the front. I just did the uh, parking lights, the headlights, you know, tapped. And I started using stainless uh, screws, so I just like to look at the stainless. And then, you know, thick on the back, tail lights with that translucent paint. You know, I'm pretty happy with this one. This is just kind of a clean look. Did paint the interior, just that. I really like that pearl white. It's a Tamiya paint for plastics. I've been using it a lot. Um, I don't know, I just like the look of it. Okay. Yeah, it looks pretty good. Okay, IRS dude, we're moving away from trucks. What yes. are we going to show next? Next, we are going to show the Mustang. Oh, the Fox did. Body Mustang. Yes. Okay. Yeah, you know what? Should I move our camera now? No, actually, that's good right there, IRS dude. So that one, talk about that one. What do you like about this one, IRS dude? Um, what it's I really like is that it's really lowered. Like, really lowered. Yeah. This one was a lot of Dremel work <laughs> for your dad. Actually, I don't know if you remember because it's been a couple of months. Do you remember all the stuff I did to this one, IRS dude? I did a lot to the interior. Yeah. Do you remember? Um, what did I do to the interior on this Yes, one? you did put some decals on the interior. Yeah, um, I did because I had to do a custom interior because I had to chop the whole back seat out, actually. Yeah, we, see that. we also did... Um, in place of the back seat, we did a roll bar. Right. Do you remember what I made the roll bar out of? Um, no, I do not. That's okay. So I used aluminum tubing, the same aluminum tubing I used to make axles. I um, mm. I bent, cut that, and shaped it, and I just did a... Uh, yeah, it turned out really good. Yeah, you can't really see it too good, but thanks, buddy. I think that's the... Is that the first homemade roll? Ro yeah, it's the first one your dad did. It did come out pretty well. Yeah. Um, I used, actually, on the inside... I used the tub from the uh, Nissan hard body truck, the D21, uh, the new premium casting. And I tried to do a little bit of detailing on the inside, of course. I always try to do a little bit of detailing on the inside for fun. This one looks sweet on the LODC wheels, IRS dude. Yeah. Right? And then, uh, you know, got to try and add some detail. I try to use that steady hand. And then on the bottom. Oh, I did detail this one a little bit on the bottom. Okay, I guess I did. We'll kind of get into that a little bit. Okay, drilled and tapped. Yeah, it looks pretty good. Thanks, buddy. Pretty happy with it. When I was in high school, these were the cars to have also. Man, these were sweet deals. And I really like this blue. Is this the blue that we got from the Lexus or a different car? I can't remember. No, that's not the Lexus. Because the, the Lexus? Lexus had the tiny bit of purple in it. Oh, okay. I think you might be right. Okay, cool. Yeah, IRS dude and I will just see cars down the street. We're like, what is that? What year is that car? Let's go look it up. Let's get that paint. Okay, cool. Yeah. IRS dude, I'll put that on your side. And then I think I'm going to... I'm gonna go ahead and move on. What do you think? Let's show the yeah. now. Let's show two that are really special to us. Iris, do you want you to do yours first? I think it's in the. Um, I think it's back over here. Oh, do you want to do this one real quick too? Okay, we'll do this one. Dad was trying to get this one off camera. Okay, this one actually is probably my second, maybe first or second time at Dremel work <laughs> with a car. So this is the Matchbox Caprice. Yes. Um, why do I like Caprices? Because they're sweet. And when I, I think this was. I think this was our first matchbox that we did. I think it might be the first matchbox. Yeah. So this one, no repaint. I just lowered it. A lot of Dremel work to the inner fender wells. Um, you might notice it's got a blacked out window in the back. That's because I pretty much had to eliminate the rear seat and the interior. And it went bye-bye. And uh, I didn't rebuild anything in there. So I figured, well, the best way for me to do it would be to darken it out. Because I added these wide, 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 wide wheels. Uh, Hot Wheels wheels. Um, I can't remember what casting they came off of. Yeah, and this one we didn't paint. Right. Because, um... I wasn't like, into it yet. 
yeah, when we first started making customs, we didn't paint them. We just swapped their reels. Right. And then sometimes did decals. Right, exactly. I mean, details. Details. Yeah, this one I just painted the grill. Yeah, you're right. You got it, buddy. This one I just painted the grill silver because it was a yellow. Oh, uh, not a yellow. It was this um, like sand color. So I did paint this with a Tamiya marker, chrome marker, chrome pen, uh, paint pen. Those Tamiya paint pens are really cool. I'll show you guys that in a segment too. This one I tried my best to paint the individual sections and the taillights. <laughs> it was a little tough. Not as tough as the Camaro I did for your sister hey. that we're going to show in just a minute. Okay. So this is one of my first ones where I really just like, you know what? I saw those wheels. I'm like, man, I'm going to make them work. It did. It's a little outrageous. Right. But yeah. it does roll decent. <laughs> okay. All right. All right. Let's do, let's do our last two. And then let's show our friends because our friends may be wondering what's going on with the, oh, we'll have a show. There's some writing we'll, we'll pen out on the back of our Yeah, display. you might be saying. Well, you can't see. We'll have to zoom back out. Are you just psycho that you're seeing the green, the green and red stuff on the side of the wall? Oh, well, there is. We have a little bit of decoration, actually, on this green light garage setup. Yes. Gonna show. Okay, Iris, dude. Get out your custom that you requested from your dad. Where is it? Um, this is my favorite custom, especially because um, schools in five seven did it for me. Oh, also your dad. Yeah. I so IRS that. dude, tell um, him tell him how this came to be. So first, I don't think we thought of the chrome. Let me see. The chrome, the all chrome what until. I'm gonna have a hard time getting that up open, bud. My Until goodness. we um, had already stripped it. There we go. Okay. There we go. We didn't really think of it until we had already stripped it. Um, yeah, so we so we um, stripped it, right? And then we were talking about color and stuff. And then I think we just thought it looked so cool as we started sanding it, right? Because we noticed that this casting had a lot of imperfections. There were lots of pieces that weren't perfect, right? Mm -hmm. So I did a lot of sanding, and I was careful not to get the volume lines. So then I just thought, wow, look how cool this looks, son, as you are as I'm sanding it down. And we also had a really hard time getting the wheels. Oh, yeah. We tried a bone shake. We tried a real rider's bone shaker that we had, but it wasn't. But that wasn't even we, right. Yeah, we tried those wheels from the bone shaker. We had a hard time really finding... A bigger, because you needed a large rear wheel yeah. and a smaller front that match and look good and then still roll. And actually, if you guys have, have followed me on Instagram, um, this one rolls awesome, right, Iris? Dude? Oh, yeah, it rolls super yeah. good. I'm super proud of this one because this one I got it tucked in nice and low, but this one rolls like a champ, right? Yeah. And then uh, your dad did a whole bunch of sanding. Actually, did you help me wet sand this one too? Yes. I think you did, it. yeah. So Iris, dude, and I basically had tons of wet sanding. We started with 120 grit really carefully to get some of the really bad imperfections in the casting. And then I think with this one, we went all the way up to 3,000 grit. I think we went to 3,000 grit. So. Yeah. And then uh, your dad uses a polisher and uh, I use a high speed polisher in the garage. I use a Dremel with some polishing compound. Uh, we'll show you some of that, that later. And then uh, I did some decal placement, right? Yeah. Okay. We kind of made it. We made it look like a race car, like right. full-on race car. So we did a blue interior. Um, Paint the we, side bolsters. Yeah. Yeah. And then we did have to it cut. It just turned out great. Yeah, it yeah, turned out we, really cool. We cut um, a little bit of the interior, interior on right. the back out a little bit. Because the wheels wouldn't roll. Yeah. It was so slammed, right? It was so slammed. Yeah, we're. I mean. And we just tried to make it as easy as even as possible so yeah it yeah. just turned out good thanks buddy well your daddy appreciates that had a lot of fun and knowing this is gonna was for you made it actually move on to really do a good job on it okay clean but hours of sanding on this one guys oh, yeah. i think i have three hours of maybe sanding because i just kept going you know from different grit to grit i did screw it down in the middle uh put it in a little case for, for for irs dude i think we even primered it and then we thought of it I started to, that's right. So this one, I actually yeah. was going to do some color in the center stripes, but then it didn't work out right. And I said, you know what? Forget it. Let's just go all. You're right, Iris, dude. I started to paint sections of it. Okay. I'm glad you like that one, Bubba. And of course we cleared it. Okay, cool. We'll put that over. And then the last one we're going to show with you friends today. We hope we're not uh, showing you too much. That we made for my sister. Yeah, for your sister. 
right, was, do you remember what kind of car this is, IRS dude? This is an IROC Camaro. Nice high five, bro. Boom, that's my boy right there. This is an IROC Z. Yes, 85 Hot Wheels, IROC Z Camaro. Uh, dude, what colors was this one when I started with it? I don't even remember. Do you remember? I think it was red, like just regular yeah. red, wasn't it? Yeah. So this one, okay, I don't know. And the funny thing, Hi. the funny thing is we had just gotten the red for this, and it's like we got it for the IROC. Dude, I tell you Because it just what. turned out perfect, and it looks like the... It kind of looks like um, the red that they would put on the eye rocks. I'm going to have to pause this and try and get it off because your dad is having the hardest time getting these things off today, dude. Like, for real, for real. Uh, oh, my goodness. It's crazy. Yeah, let's pause this for one second. Hold on there, diecast friends. Okay, friends, we're back. And, uh, we yeah. Finally got it off. Finally, I had a hard time getting that one off. Well, that's good. It means it's secure, right? Yeah. Okay, so this one, 85 eye rock. Um, this color was, is actually a BMW M4 color. Yes. It's supposed to be a, or I forget what the orange is called, but it's a, it's a, like a, a red orange. And this just fit this car perfectly, right, Iris, dude? Yeah, um, I think they did the red orange, because it just looks like a basic red. But in the light, it has the orange. It has the it. orange look to it, right, exactly. Um, it's rocking the LODC wheels, which fit perfect in there. This one also yeah. is a champ of a roller, Okay. Um, can't really tell what I did here. I, I just did the seat inserts are the same color as the car. I don't think you can really see that on the video. You know, maybe a little bit right there. Yeah, just for fun, just a little bit. I always clear the interior also so it's kind of shiny and easier to work with when I paint. Uh, <laughs> okay, the thing. This, yeah, this yeah. is the thing that was crazy. Here's, here's what happens, friends, when you're a little OCD and you can't let stuff go. Now, you're looking at these taillights and you might be thinking, all right, school's in. I see you did the tail lights, but it just looks like red on red. No, 30 friends. There's 30 little sections in that casting for the tail lights and the backup lights and all that stuff, right? So the process I use to get that color is I got to put down my silver chrome first on each little section, okay, without running, without trying to go into the little valleys of the casting. And then I come back and I lay down the translucent Tamiya amber and the red. So let's just say there's at least three hours, at least three hours in getting those tail lights. But uh, I'm pretty proud of myself. I think they came out super clean. Okay. So I'm proud of that one for the tail lights. Okay. And that was for my daughter. I'm pretty pumped she likes that one. Okay. Cool. All right, dude. I think that's it. Um, we have one last thing we want to share before we show you some of the stuff we use in our next, our segment number two. And we'll try and make that kind of quick. Um, IRS dude, I'm going to pan out a little bit. So our friends can see this. Okay, so this last thing, actually, Iris dude and I are super pumped about because um, some of you guys out there are watching are, are part of our local group, um, the Central California dudes, and we uh, we appreciate you. This was made by one of the guys in the group. Well, not the uh, the green light diorama, of course, but um, we have a friend Ace who is super awesome at. Um, the graffiti art stuff, right? Yeah. So we asked him, hey, would you mind doing some graffiti art on um, one of those green light dioramas for us? And uh, one of our other friends, um, Keith had it done on his, and Ace did his also, so I'm like, man, that's sweet. We gotta check, ask Ace if he'll do that for us. So he, you know, kind of put IRS dude, just cool. Um, we have IRS's initials on the side, which is pretty slick. He did some, some coloring also. And then, of course, we got to get schools in on there. And that is just, man. <laughs> so, schools in's a little longer, friends. But Ace did a killer job on this, man. So we want to give a shout out to him. Super awesome. Um, you can check him out on Instagram also. Um, uh, he's at Ace's High is uh, on Instagram. He's super cool. Talented dude. And then um, I see he did a little bit of work over on the, on the side, right? To IRS, dude. Yeah. Pretty cool. Your, your initials are on there. Pretty awesome. Okay, cool. All right, friends. So um, stay tuned. Our next segment, we're just going to go over some of the things that we use for our customs, just kind of real quick. 